Welcome to Mathematics Form 4, Chapter 4, Operation on Set, 4.3, Combined Operation on Set. Okay, in this part of the lesson, we are going to learn how to determine and describe the combined operation on sets using various representation. Are you ready? Let's start. <laughs> Okay, before we carry on, let's recall what we have learned so far in this lesson. We know that there is intersection of set and union of set. And we also learned about the symbol for intersection of set, which looks like a reverse U. And it means only to involve the element, the same element from the set involved. For union of set, the symbol looks like the letter U. So as I've mentioned, in, mentioned previously, the, the one that looks like letter U represents union of set. So for union of set means all the elements from the set involved. Okay, let's look at one example. Okay, and so in this example, there's a table shows the hobby of a group of pupils. Right. There are 10 people in this hobby, which each one of them like either one, two or more than that. So in this question, we see that there is already a set denoted for singing, which is P, dancing, which is Q, and then drawing, which is R. So what I'm going to do here. Um, we we'll look at the question first. So it says that based on the above table, number one, uh, sorry, A lists all the elements from the following set. B draw a Venn diagram and shade the region that represent each of the following sets. So before we can go and answer this question, we need to organize what the information show in the table. So because the question already denotes that set P is for singing, set Q is for dancing, and set R is for drawing, I'm going to label them first. Right. So R is like singing, so I'm going to label P for singing. And then Zari is like drawing, so drawing will be R. Lily likes dancing, which is the letter Q. I'm going to go for the one that's only one hobby. Gita likes drawing, so drawing represented by R. Um, and then Nani likes dancing, which is Q. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to go for is the one those who have two hobbies. So dancing and singing. So dancing will be Q intersect with uh, singing, which is P. Okay, Ellen likes singing and dancing. So singing will be P intersect with uh, Q. So you do know that when it says and, it will be intersect. Now because you know that Ellen and Amy have the same hobby, Except that the um, order is not the same. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change ME1. Instead of Q intersect with P, I'm going to change them become P intersect with Q to give it a more consistent. And then me like dancing and drawing. So dancing will be Q intersect with drawing, which is R. J likes singing and drawing. So singing will be P, drawing will be R. The only one that we three hobbies will be iris. So it'll be P intersect with Q intersect with R. Now this will be helpful when we're going to do the parts where it says draw a Venn diagram. 
Now I'm going to list out this uh, pupil for set P, set Q, set R before we proceed to list all the uh, elements. So for set P, we're going to look for those uh, pupil with P. So P, I'm going to use a yellow highlighter. So P, Arif, and then I see P again at Amy. I see P again at Iris. Alan and J. So these one, two, three, four, five pupils, I'll be listing them in the P. So P, we got Arif, we got Amy, Iris, Alan, and J. So those are the one belonging to set P. Right, let's see pupil that belongs to set Q, which are dancing. Alright, so I'm going to use a different color highlighter. Let's go for the color green. So for Q, I'm going to look for anything that's with the letter Q. So it'll be Lily, Amy again, and then Iris again, Alan, me, as well as Nani. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'm going to list them out. I'm going to use a different color. So we'll start with Lily, Amy, Iris, Alan, me, and then last ones will be Nani. Now we are going to list the one that is last, which is set R, those who like drawing. Let's use a different highlighter. Let's go for orange. So those with R, Zarif, Gita, Iris, May, and Jay. So let's list them out and I'm going to use a different color. Let's go for hmm, green. So those who are in R will be Zarif and then Gita, Iris and May. J. All right. So these are the uh, students belonging to the respective set. Now let's go and look at the question. Let's start with question E first. Now the list that we did at the front, I'm going to bring them to this question for us to understand the question. Sorry, for us to refer to the list while we are answering the question. Right, question A number one. So there are the question A number one would be bracket P union with Q, closing bracket and intersect with R. Any type of this type of question, always do the bracket first. This still comply to the Bob Mars uh, concept that you have learned earlier in your mathematics life. Right? So we're going to answer the ones with the bracket first. So P union with R. So everything in P and everything in Q. So we got Arif, Amy, Iris, Alan, J, Lily, May and Nani. Okay, and then for R from the list we have okay Zarif, Gita, Iris, May, and J. Now because the question after the bracket is intersect, so I'm going to go for only the same in these two answer. So P union with Q intersect with R. So the one we have the same is Iris and then May. Last one will be J. 
So our final answer will be J, Iris and Meg. Wherever possible, always list the name or anything in ascending order from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, so this is for question number one. Okay, let's see for question number two. Alright, question number two is Q union with P intersect with R. Whatever you do, always answer those in the bracket first. Alright, so Q, I know that it is Lily, Amy, Iris, Alan, May and Nani. And then for P intersect with R, so I'm going to go to the list. So P intersect with R. We have Iris intersect mean we only take the same and G. So these two will be our answer for P intersect with R, Iris and J. Okay, question says Q union with P intersect with R. So if it's union means everything from Q and everything from P intersect with R. So we're going to list everything in this as our final answer. So our final answer will be Lily, Amy, Iris, Alan, May, Nani and Jay. Remember, wherever possible, always list them according to ascending order. So this is how we get our final answer for this type of combination. Now let's look at question B. Alright, so question B, draw a Venn diagram. Okay, we're going to settle for draw a Venn diagram. Now there are three sets. Okay, three sets. So we need three circles. And all of these circles will be intersect with one another because if you look back at the question, we have intersect for each of the set as well as the one with all of them intersecting. So I remember when I said this one, it will be helpful for you when we draw later on. Now let's look at question, the first question, first part of the question. I'm going to bring the list here first. Alright, remember these are individual elements. So individual element, make sure you have a dot in front of that element. Now, there will be three circle, P, Q, R. Either way, you can have two circle at the bottom with one at the top, or you want to reverse it, inverse it with two circle at the top with one at the bottom, also can. Now, make sure it's not in linear form where the three circles are in one line. So that would not be correct. Usually, I will start with the one iris, which have all three hobbies. And then I go from there, whichever that they intersect. So you put M at the respective area. Now from my method, I prefer to number each of the section with number in order for me to help me answer the second part of the question. So I already draw my Venn diagram. The second part of the question is to check the region, right? So I'm going to number each of the section. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 7 sections in here. So this 7 section will help me to answer later on. So remember when I said just now that always I'll start from bracket. So our first bracket will be P union with Q. For set P, the section will be 1, 2, 4, and 6. For set Q, the section will be 2, 3, 4, and 5. Unions means everything in the set P and set Q. So it will be region 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we look at R. 
Okay, which is the second part of the question. The section for set R will be 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, so our key one will be union. So if it's union, sorry, intersect. If it's intersect, we only take the one that is the same. So 4, 5 and 6 so I'm going to shade only the region number 4, number 5 and number 6 whenever you shade a region always make sure that you shade them nice and neatly alright you can use your pencil you can also use pencil color but I do not encourage you to use highlighter now make sure when you do shade, shade them inside and let's try not to go more than the line of each section. Right, so our final answer is this one, section 4, 5 and 6. Okay, let's look at the second question. Okay, the second question is still the same question as the, the whole set. So, you do not need to answer, draw a Venn diagram. But, you need another copy because the shade region will be different for number 2. So, it will be the exactly the same uh, Venn diagram. Okay, let's answer this question. Alright, so... Q, I'm not going to answer that one first. I'm going to answer the one in the bracket, which is P intersect with R. So I'm going to do the same as I did previously, which is to number each region, each section. Alright, so for P, set P, okay, set P will be number 1, 2, 4, and 6. For R will be 4, 6, Let's make it 4, 5, 6 and 7. Intersect means only the same. So it will be number 4 and number 6. So our answer for this one will be number 4 and number 6. Right, for Q, set Q involve section 2, 3, 4 and 5. Alright. And then the question says union. Union means everything. Okay, everything in section 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, so start off. I'm going to tick it off first. Section 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright. So make sure, remember, as I've said previously, make sure that you shade them nice and neat. It actually helps the mood of the marker. When everything is neat, tidy, okay, they have the joy of marking your paper. Because it's not so messy, you know that when it gets messy, it gives them a stress level. And then even though we are not supposed to be marking with feelings, so to say, but it gives them a pressure when you see the student work is like uh, untidy. Right? I'm done with shading my region. So this is the final answer. Okay. Alright, I hope you have learned something from this lesson. If you are in doubt, you can always list you can always ask your teacher, you can always ask in the comment section or rewind back and start listening from the front. Okay.
Now, if you do have a SASBADI workbook 2021, you can try to answer the question in page 59 and 60. Okay, so that's all for my lesson today. I hope you learned something. I'll see you again in the next class. Take care and bye-bye.